All right, we got Spider Gun issue four. And I gotta tell you, I've been pretty disappointed with this series. There's a lot of stuff that I like, but there's also a lot of stuff that I don't like. The big saving grace for me with Spider Gun has been the return of the superior Spider Man, who, if you didn't know, is uh, Dr. Octopus now in his own body, which uh, is like a combination of his body and Peter Parker's which he made in another run. <laughs> I don't want to explain it. It'd take forever. But he used to be Spider-Man in actual Peter Parker's body. He's getting his own series again, which I'm excited about, especially since Christoph Gage is writing him, who really gets him. He shines in every issue and has been the reason that I've con continued to read it, to be honest, because it feels like a mess. All of the uh, spinoffs heard it. I wish they had, they would have just, you know, maybe spread them out a little bit and told it all in one story. But you know how Marvel is. <laughs> they got to milk you for all your money. That's just how they roll. And it's unfortunate that their predatory practices come first over telling a good story to the consumer. But hey, that's just Marvel. That's just 2018 Marvel. So anyway... There's some stuff that happened in Spider Force. I don't know if Kane is dead. It kind of alludes to him being dead because she's coming back from that book right here. And this is the essence of their father, the inheritor's father, who's like the toughest one. If you remember him from uh, Spider Verse, he was really powerful. He actually uh, killed the Peter Parker that had the. Uh, Cosmic Power, Captain uh, it's a Captain Universe Power. And that was done to show how powerful he is. Now, she comes back. That kind of alludes that Kane's dead. There's a little plot point here where they're trying to kill her, but she has radiation in her blood, which doesn't make sense because <laughs> doesn't that hurt them when they suck up the other Spider-Men that have radiation blood? So, Yeah. That's a plot point there. But, you know, Marvel, they don't give a damn about consistency or or any of that stuff. And speaking of that, here they are on that world. So this is actually the Peter Parker that had the power cosmic of Captain Universe. And they're trying to track it down, basically. Their plan is to use it, which doesn't make much sense because it didn't work before. But it, you already know what's going to happen. Miles is kind of being set up to be the big hero for this run. They've taken Peter Parker of 616 out of it by having him fight Morlin by himself, which has actually been a decent story. That's uh, That's been pretty good. I think most of the times he's fought Morlin have been pretty entertaining. I know I'm like in the minority with that one. <laughs> I really am. A lot of people can't stand that Morlin stuff. But there's going to be spoilers. I biasly give this issue a three because of Superior Spider-Man. So I'm going to give it another number. If you are a Superior Spider-Man fan, you're going to enjoy this because of all the stuff he does in this, which is the always the entertaining thing about Superior Spider-Man that I always loved and thought it was like a cool twist is that it's Dr. Octopus trying to be a good guy. And what makes it interesting is the twist that they have him go about being a hero because he goes about being a hero by using supervillain methods, which he does in this book. And I'm going to get to there and it's going to be spoilers. But if I, if you're not a superior Spider-Man fan, you're not going to enjoy this book. So I actually would give it a two, which is bad because that's how I do it. Trash, bad, good, great masterpiece. And if you're not a superior Spider-Man fan, it's a two. If you are, it's a three. And I'm saying that because that's how I enjoyed it. But if I wasn't a fan of that character, I wouldn't like it. And that's why I'm giving the two the two numbers score. Um, I'm going to go into spoilers now. So if you don't want to know what happens, uh, turn the camera off. So moments like these are why I like this book. There's a lot of interaction between superior and Miles. And they actually come to an agreement in here, but did they? So 
I don't know if this is going to be changed or not, but we get kind of a uh, a uh, twist here with uh, Doc Ock. This is all setting up for the final. Like I said, they're looking for the uh, Captain Universe powers, and they do find it at the end. And I'm going to show you. But I want to show you what happens. They're, they're getting ready. They're setting up for their strike to go take down the inheritors. And they want to go... They want to go and get more members while Doc Ock prepares for the final battle. And Miles is going to go track down more recruits. Well, they don't get to do that because they get in a big argument with uh, Spider-Man, which is... What is he? I forget what they actually call him. But he's actually Norman Osborn with Spider-Man powers. They all kick him out, which was stupid because this frees him up to go to the, the, web, the life web. And he walls off... The uh, 616 universe. So they can't get any more reinforcements. I'm interested to find out what they do here. This is an interesting plot that they could do some stuff with. I wonder if he's going to become like... Because you see Loomer. I forget, I think that's his name. Uh, Karen, the Master Weaver. He's dead. And I'm interested to see where they're going to go with this. But he ends up walling off the uh, the world... And this is where it gets kind of messed up because I want to see what's going to happen. Now, Doc Ock and Ben Riley are like, well, we're going to go do something, which turns out to be a trick. Oh, and there is one thing, uh, the PS4 Spider-Man, Spider-Cop, he actually exists. <laughs> you can see him right here. <laughs> Spider-Cop. <laughs> if you played the game, you know what that is. So him and Ben Riley are setting up to go kind of take down the inheritors by destroying their cloning stuff. They want to make it explode. And he has like a, a talk with Ben and ends up knocking him out and taking him to the inheritors. And it's revealed he actually contacted them and said, you know, I'll help you fix your stuff because if you if you absorb Ben's essence – the uh, guy who runs that technology will gain all of Ben's uh, ability, like his memories and stuff, which will let him like know how to instantly use all of the, uh, the U tech from uh, the cloning stuff that Ben invented and some agreement terms that they come to is that they will leave the 616 and leave it alone. And, that's exactly what I was talking about with Doc Ock using villainous ways to be a good guy. That's exactly what that is. And that's why I like the character so much is stuff like that. And we see this here. It looks like they're about to kill him. And he's like, you know, I'm going to leave. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch what's going to happen. And he takes off. And we're left there. We don't know if they kill him. We're going to find out in the next issue. I hope he doesn't die. Ben Riley's been dead for so long and they brought him back. I was hoping that they would redeem him somehow and do something with him, which they've been struggling to do. They always struggle with all these spider characters. But anyway, uh, there's the power cosmic. They find it, Captain Universe. And then when you look at the next issue solicitation, you see Miles using it to fight uh, Solace. And then look at all of these events that take place up <laughs> before spider Gen 5. Oh, man. I'm not buying all of these. <laughs> you can believe that. I'm going to buy Spectacular and spider Gen number 5, and that's it. So uh, that's it. I uh, Like I said, man, I'm, there's just too many spinoffs for this book to be fun. I can't read all of those books. And they don't make it too accessible to know what's going on. If you don't read all of them. And that's the main issue with <laughs> this issue. Um, but like I said, if you're a fan of a Doc Ock, a Spider-Man, you're going to love it. And uh, what's going to happen to Ben? Are they going to kill him? I don't know. Anyway, leave me uh, comments. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you're thinking about this book. Are you reading Spider-Geddon? What do you think of it? Also, uh, like, subscribe. Share the video, hit that notification bell, check out my links, check out my stream me, I'm doing uh, uncensored streams over there. So make sure you follow me over on stream me. Also, uh, check out my Patreon and uh, 
I'll see you guys on the next one.